Hello there and welcome back to the basic weathering series using AK Interactive's products and this is episode 3. Now in episode 3 we're going to be taking a look at filters. Now we've got an array of filters that we have from um, AK Interactive of different colours for different um, and base colours to put onto. Um, so for our World War I um, Whippet here, um, a good colour we're going to be using is NATO Tanks which is AK07. Six. Now this is a sort of a nice brown colour um, and this is sort of going to, what, what filters basically do is it sort of changes the tones, it sort of makes um, your paint work a bit more vibrant, a bit more lively, um, you know it adds that sort of extra layer of weathering to, to your paintwork. Um, now with our um, modulation paintwork here, this should work rather well. Um, however, when it comes to things like a desert sort of scene with our Land Rover here, you do need to be a little bit careful in what colors you use because this is such a, a light, light color, um, you know, Filters can be quite overpowering with something like desert, so be a little bit careful because what we're going to be using for that is the Africa Core, which is AK065. Um, you know, now with filters, it's filters are a kind of a sort of you don't quite sort of um, notice a massive difference with filters it's not like smash bang right in your face you can really see the change in it it's it's a light layer uh, but it's a very easy layer to do um, it's so easy to apply give your um, your pot of filter a good good shake right and I'm using a nice big um, flat brush for this I do believe it's a, a full size 8 Right, we just dip that into our filter and then just on the top here I'll show you what you want to do is you just want to literally just apply our filter on there. And hopefully as you can see it gives it such such a more sort of vibrant sort of colour, it changes the tone of the colour, right, and it should just liven up our paintwork a lot, lot more. Now, when applying, it is just as easy as just literally almost just slap it on and that's it. There's no skill involved, um, no real sort of hard task to do it. It's just literally slap it on. The only thing is you don't want it really, you don't really want it pulling up into any sort of recessed panel lines, raised details or anything like that. This is to put a film um, a film of paint sort of all over, all equally all over the model. Um, so what you might want to do is kitchen paper towel, sort of just dab your paintbrush on the kitchen paper towel so it soaks up what filter you've got on your paintbrush and then maybe in the odd area where it's sort of maybe pooling up we can just sort of like suck up that bit of filter, right? It is just to go evenly and equally all over the model, right? And there, hopefully as you can see, I mean, you can sort of see the difference between the rest of the model and how that's gone on there. It really does sort of make a change, right? And when it dries, it does sort of liven up our areas rather, rather nicely. Now, that is coat one. A lot of people just settle at coat one. If you really sort of want to go to 10 and really sort of change things, you know, go for a second, a third, a fourth coat until you're happy. Just remember to leave, you know, the drying time for this to be a fair bit of time. Now, when we come to our Land Rover here, a um, little bit different, as I say, because we've got such a light, light color, we've got to be careful not to come in with some sort of a dark filter because it will so overpower it really really quickly um so for this you know i say we're going to be using africa core or africa corpse right and we're going to come in 
and we're going to paint on here as well just the same the only thing with this one is also this is where filters can also um, be rather rather cool as well is we've got this fabric sort of canopy going on with our Land Rover so really you don't want to be sort of painting um, this fabric can well um, shall we say the color between the fabric sort of canopy and the the paintwork on the real Land Rover they are very similar but there is like a slight sort of difference they're normally a little bit darker they sort of get a little bit grubby a bit um, quicker and whatnot so there's the filter on our Land Rover which let's face it um, we didn't do any modulation on the Land Rover so having that little bit of a livening up with the filters really sort of helping um, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to come in with a different colour filter for the fabric right what we've got here is natural grey filter AK4161 um, and what this is going to do is sort of break up the, the actual paintwork on the real thing and the the canopy, the, the fabric, right? So by coming in with these two different filters, right, it's going to give us two slightly different effects. Right. And that's what we sort of want. We want to sort of try and represent the difference between the fabric and the paintwork right then so hopefully you can see there it's the cool thing is is because you know filters can be quite a subtle um, change in in the paintwork in this case it really does sort of help to sort of distinguish between these two sort of fabrics and the paintwork as you can see there it just sort of gives us a slightly darker top there to a sort of a, a lighter sort of bottom there so it, do, it does sort of distinguish between the both so that's that's another cool thing about filters as well and that is it i mean really it is just a case of throw it on um you know any pooling up in any sort of areas sort of suck it up um with the paintbrush uh, and that's it the only thing is you want to sort of leave it um you know maybe 24 hours to dry because these are enamel based filters and because they're enamel based filters um, enamels take a hell of a lot longer to dry than acrylics do um, I know they're basically sort of really really thin down enamel paint so we haven't got to wait too long for them to dry um, but you definitely want to give them time to dry and then um, you can again seal them in with a gloss coat like I already showed you in episode one ready for what will be the next episode episode four which will be dealing with washes